Well, as I do the snow conditions report, I'm forecasting temperatures around 20 degrees above average, likely some record highs in the forecast, and a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Doesn't sound much like February and not really conducive to a great snow conditions report. So thank goodness for snow making machines. Here's a shot uh, Thursday morning, a shush mountain. And I tell you what, if it wasn't for snow machines, this would be a waste of a season. Look at the, well, going into this winter, we all knew it wasn't gonna be a spectacular winter in terms of snowfall because of a moderate to strong El Nino going on. But I even, I didn't think this would happen. 59 out of seven days, warmer than average. So far this winter, temperatures close to seven degrees above average, and we've only had one inch of snow on the ground in Grand Rapids or more for 20 days out of, out of the 70 days so far this winter. That's only 29% of the time. So this is a, really the look of what an El Nino looks like. Temperature anomaly, well above average throughout the Great Lakes, North Central Plains, and the cooler temperatures usually end up around the Gulf of Mexico, and that's essentially what we've had so far this winter. And of course, there's a direct correlation with warm temperatures and a lack of snow. So far, 41% of uh, the, the state is covered with snow, and that's only going to decrease, I would expect, this weekend with all the warm temperatures heading our way at least the next couple of days. Average snow depth is only around an inch. That's just incredible. And of course, we have double digit deficits from Grand Rapids to Muskegon, Holton Lake and Marquette in the snowfall. Look at Marquette at 56 inch deficit. That's just amazing. I just looked at the camera up there at Northern Michigan University. There's no snow on the ground. Sault Ste. Marie is, is reporting zero as well. I, I don't even know when the last time that has happened. But again, if you want to go skiing this weekend, it's going to be machine groomed snow. And you can see there's quite a few runs open from Cannonsburg, Bittersweet, Cabra Fay, Crystal Mountain, and all treetops. And also Shish Mountain. Everybody's open with a fair amount of runs. You just have to understand that it's going to be machine groomed. You're not going to be skiing in fresh snow. Here's the future cast into this weekend. Rain departs off of the south early Saturday morning. It will be cold enough. I think a few flurries are possible in northwest lower Michigan and also some light snow showers right up along the Lake Superior shoreline. It's not going to be much, but what it does signal is temperatures are going to be cooler than what we're going to have for much of the previous week leading up to it. You can see highs generally in the 30s for Saturday. Wind chill temperatures are actually going to be in the 20s, a fairly strong wind out there, and high temperatures on Sunday, cooler yet, especially to the north. Driver City coming in right around 30 degrees, 37 in Grand Rapids. So high temperatures, you can see <laughs> remarkable warmth to start the uh, forecast period, but here comes the cooler temperatures for the rest of next week. Good news for uh, resorts, especially trying to make some snow. Low temperatures will likely be in the 20s. Now looking ahead in the forecast for this upcoming week for snowfall, here's a European model. You can see not much, most right along the Lake Superior shoreline. But the key is, if you're a snowmobiler, it's toast. You don't have a chance. I was up there uh, two weeks ago. There wasn't any, hardly any rideable snow. We didn't ride whatsoever, and it's only been warm since then. And basically, the snowmobile trails are right down to the dirt. So you're starting all over again. And with this amount of snow heading in, uh, your way in the forecast, they're not, <laughs> there's just not much hope out there. I don't see much uh, hope over the next uh, couple weeks, unfortunately. But the pattern is changing. It is going to get colder, so it's good news for ski resorts. Here's the latest 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. And you can see, actually, temperatures should be uh, 32 to 34 degrees during this time frame. But anyway, uh, colder temperatures are on the way, but it's still kind of a dry pattern for us, so I don't expect much snow uh, in the mid portion of the month of February. But again, it looks good for the snow resorts out there or ski resorts, so take advantage of that and enjoy the weekend.